The Mortal Engines Quartet is a tetralogy consisting of four novels written by the British author Philip Reeve, Mortal Engines 2001, Predators Gold 2003, Infernal Devices 2005, and A Darkling Plain 2006. It has also been referred to as the Hungry City Chronicles, although the author has objected to that name, and as the Predator Cities Quartet. Locations The series is set thousands of years in the future in a time known as the Traction Era, in which Earth has been reduced to wasteland by a devastating conflict known as the Sixty-Minute War. Nations no longer exist except in the lands of the Anti-Traction League, whereas Traction cities—mobile cities mounted on caterpillar tracks— are fiercely independent city-states that use giant mechanical jaws to dismantle one another for resources. Trade is mostly accomplished by airship, or between mobile cities of roughly equal size unable to devour each other. Old tech technology from before the traction era, some from the 21st century is the most sought-after commodity. The Great Hunting Ground, consists of Europe and Northern Asia, and is the domain of the traction cities. It is a muddy wasteland, in which the constant movement of the cities has destroyed all vegetation. The land is identified by city dwellers as the out country. The ice wastes, new name for the Arctic, wherein traction cities use iron runners to skate across the ice. In some places, the ice is thin, and they risk falling in the ocean. Africa – Africa is split between the Sahara Desert, governed by traction cities, and the southern regions, run by anti-tractionists. Areas of the southern continent include the static cities of Zagwa and Tibetsi, and the highland area known as the Mountains of the Moon. The Dead Continent – North America, supposedly reduced to an irradiated wasteland by the Sixty-Minute War. In Predator's Gold, it is proven not to be completely dead. In the north, there are forests with some animals that survived the 60 minute war. Asia, the stronghold of the Anti Traction League. Eastern China is evidently irradiated by the war, and the Himalayas are now the center of civilization, where the mountains make it impossible for cities to approach. Nuevo Maya, new name for South America, severed from North America when slow bombs. Destroyed Central America during the war. Static settlements rule the Andes, but the lowlands are filled with ziggurat traction cities. Protagonists Tom and Hester visit Nuevo Maya between the first two books, but it is never visited in the text. Philip Reeve has said that he will explore Nuevo Maya in more detail in the future. Antarctica, mentioned only once, and evidently the domain of oil drilling traction cities. Tom and Hester visit Antarctica between the first two books, but it is not described in the text. Australia, though not mentioned in the original series or Fever Crumb, Philip Reeve says that he will explore places like Australia and Nuevo Maya in the future, as he never had a chance to do so in the original quartet. Anchorage in Vineland, the static and stable version of the traction city of Anchorage, which had decided to stop wandering the Arctic wastes and settle in the green and unspoilt land of Vineland in North America. When Anchorage was a traction city, it was not predatory but gained its wealth by trading with other cities under more scrupulous leaders. Topic: <laughs> Odin, Medusa. The Orbital Defense Initiative abbreviated ODIN, is an orbital satellite weapon, a very powerful remnant of the 60-minute war and a major feature of the third and fourth books in the series, Infernal Devices and A Darkling Plain. It was built as part of the arms race between the American Empire and Greater China. It and Medusa are the only superweapons known to have survived until the events of the series, although there are several references to other orbital superweapons, Diamond Bat, Jinju-14, and the Nine Sisters, for example. Odin is more powerful than Medusa and is able to hit any target on the surface of the Earth. Odin is an American satellite, as the code for controlling the satellite comes off an American submarine, and it briefly searches for the American cities it was placed in orbit to defend after it is reawakened by the stalker Fang. The other orbital weapons are hinted to have broken up over time and fallen from the sky. 
Odin is an energy weapon that converts a small nuclear bomb into a directed incinerating beam a weapon concept similar to the Strategic Defense Initiative's Project Escalibur. This has the power to exterminate cities both traction and, static and provoke volcanic eruptions. Its beam can be seen for very long distances and seems to interfere with the mechanical minds of stalkers. Only Shrike's old tech stalker brain has the metal to withstand this, although he goes into a fit-like state and it is hinted he is saved by Dr. Enon Zero. Anna Fang is unaffected. Other stalkers lose all power. The Tin Book, copied from a U.S. military document recovered by the refugees of the original anchorage from a submarine, is a codebook for controlling Odin. It is stolen by the Lost Boys and, later, Brighton. It then falls into the hands of the stalker Fang, who memorizes its contents and then leaves it to be destroyed on Cloud Nine. It is then destroyed in a fire. When Fang is rebuilt by Fishcake, her stalker alter ego travels towards Batmunk Gomfa to steal parts for a transmitter with the power to reach Odin, and then travels on Anna Fang's residence, where there is enough old tech to finish the transmitter. The journey is delayed by Anna Fang's confused and caring personality. At Batmunk Gomfa the stalker takes control until the final scene. When Odin is fired, confusion ensues as both the Green Storm and Traction cities are targeted. Both sides try to find the transmitter, leading to the storm's assault of London, but it is Tom, Hester, Shrike, and Pennyroyal who find Fang. As Fang prepares to target all the volcanoes on the Earth and so destroy humanity, a final confrontation from Tom brings Anna to the fore once more and she orders Odin to turn its beam weapon upon itself, destroying it completely. As well as its immensely powerful weaponry, Odin appears to show signs of intelligence. When it is awakened, it queries its new position and briefly searches for its old masters, and notes the vast difference in geography since its last awakening. It can also zoom in to an individual's face on the earth and, although the picture is grainy, it is still identifiable. It can change its orbit when directed to target all over the globe. This, as well as the stalker mines found among old tech and Shrike seems to prove that robots had, by the time of the 60-minute war, achieved sentience. Medusa is an ancient superweapon that was reconstructed in London's St. Paul's Cathedral in the events of the first book. It's alluded to being an energy beam that radiates from the weapon's firing head. Some people didn't like this as they said it was a waste, as they cannot salvage anything. Topic. Prequel series The Fever Crumb series, although released after the Mortal Engines Quartet, takes place centuries or millennia before the events depicted in the Quartet. The main character is Fever Crumb, a London engineer who is partially descended from the Scriven, a mutant race of humans. The series also introduced the character Shrike, revealing his origins before he became a stalker. The Fever Crumb series also visits many of the locations not depicted in the Mortal Engines Quartet. Topic: Characters. Topic: Names. A few of the people in the books are named after places in Devon, where Reeve lives, including Chudley, Tamerton Foliot and the River Plyme. In the quartet, Miss Plyme and Chudley Pomeroy are both in the Guild of Historians, and Tamerton Foliot is an alternative historian. Both Shrike and Smoo are named after birds, and Pennyroyal is named after a flower. Many of the characters are named after ancient in the context of the books brands, Windoline Pie, Daz Gravy, Nutella Iceberg, Napster Varley, and Nabisco Skin, for example. Friends of Philip Reeve are also occasionally mentioned in the books, for instance Poskett is included as a god, clearly referring to K. J. Arton Poskett, a friend and the author of books that Reeve has illustrated in the past. Topic. Traction cities Some traction cities bear present-day names, but some, such as Airhaven and Motoropolis, are invented. 
All traction cities consist of several tiers fixed to a huge hull containing engine rooms, storage hangars, and a large gut where captured towns are dismantled. At the sides are enormous tracks or wheels, and huge hydraulic jaws at the bows to capture smaller towns. Various names are given below Bayreuth, Benghazi, Brighton, Speedwell, Murnau, Archangel, Anchorage, Airhaven, Cairo, KOM Ambo, London, Manchester. Salthook Helsinki Parapetitiopolis Topic Airship Names Airships in the quartet carry unusual or quirky names reminiscent of the style of the names of ships in Ian M Banks culture series Jenny Hanover a dried out skate or ray resembling a demon this ship is later renamed the Arctic Roll 13th Floor Elevator, from the band of similar name Invisible Worm, a reference to William Blake's poem, The Sick Rose Aramouse, archaic name for a bat Idiot Wind, a Bob Dylan song on the album Blood on the Tracks My Sharona, from the hit single by The Knack Michele M. Bembe, a cryptozoological creature of the Congo Basin Garden Aeroplane Trap, a surrealist painting by Max Ernst Zainab, several women in Islamic history Group Captain Mandrake, one of the main characters in the film Drive. Strange Love Clear Air Turbulence, also the name of a 1976 album by Ian Gillan and a ship in Consider Flebas Temporary Blip Plum Blossom Spring Die Leiden day Jungen Werther Shadow Aspect Protecting Veil Hungry Ghost Combat Wombat Topic Future Topic Television During one of the reviews of the 2018 film, a possible sprawling television series adaptation of the Mortal Engines Quartet was hinted. There was one pitch for such a project on Netflix. Topic: Film. In 2009, Peter Jackson, director of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, expressed interest in directing the film adaptations. He ended up producing and co-writing the film adaptation of the first book in the quartet. The film is directed by Christian Rivers. The movie is based on the novel Mortal Engines, adapted to screen by Fran Walsh, Philippa Boyens and Peter Jackson. It stars Hugo Weaving, Hera Hilmar, Robert Sheehan, Jihei, Ronan Raftery, Layla George, Patrick Malahide, and Stephen Lang. The film was released in theaters on 6 December 2018, received mixed reviews and was a commercial failure. Comic Philip Reeve has also mentioned the possibility of a comic set in the world of Mortal Engines. He said that he has been discussing it with David Wyatt and mentioned that a younger Anna Fang would be an interesting character to focus on. Titled The Haunted Sky, it is unknown whether it will be finished or not. Topic. Video games. In an interview with Polygon on 30 October 2018, producer Peter Jackson explained an absence of a game based around the 2018 Mortal Engines movie, saying if that film performs well enough to make a sequel, there will definitely be a video game to follow. <laughs>